This is The Real News Network. I'm Sharmini Pires coming to you from Baltimore. Species are disappearing at an accelerated rate, 100 times faster than it should. And we are entering a period of the sixth mass extinction, says scientists who have done a multi-university study published in Science Advances. It raises questions of our own survival. How much of it is natural and how much of it is caused by human activities? These are among the questions we are going to be asking by speaking with one of the authors of the study, Professor Geraldo Ceballos. He's joining us from Madrid. Geraldo is a professor at the Instituto de Ecología at UNAM in Mexico. He's upcoming book is Annihilation of Nature, Human Extinction of Birds and Mammals. Geraldo, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for inviting me to talk to you. So Geraldo, let's begin with how you know the current wave of mass extinction is entering such an acceleration, which you say is 100 times faster. Well, that was basically the purpose of our study. We, what we did is uh, use very conservative data on a couple of things. First of all, there has been published recently what we call the uh, normal or natural rate of extinction of mammals in the last two million years since the Pleistocene. Uh, Tony Barnowski, one of our authors, put together this uh, a very complex analysis of fossils and so fossils uh, with his co-authors, and they come out with this uh, new uh, estimation, estimate that says that uh, the normal rate of extinction for mammals in the last two million years was two species times per uh, 10,000 species ten, uh, per uh, 100 years. In other words, you will expect for every 10,000 species to see two extinctions every 100 years. That's the first part of the equation. The second part is that what we did, we used the IUCN, the International Union for Conservation of Nature, the data for, uh, for extinct species, sorry. And uh, using those two uh, uh, data sets, we were able to uh, find out that the uh, present extinction rate is 100, up to 100 times higher than the normal extinction rate. This is why we have a, a certain to say that we have entered the sixth extinction, the, the sixth mass extinction. A mass extinction is defined as the rapid loss of many uh, species of plants and animals in, uh, on, in Earth. And uh, there has been five uh, mass extinctions previously in the geological past, and this is the number six. And, and precisely, how do we know human activity is causing some of this extinction? Well, I mean, basically, that's the point of a study. If we know that during the last two million years, we have been losing two species, I mean, what we say, two species, per 10,000 species per 100 years, and in this particular case, we will expect, because we analyze 40,000 species of vertebrates, so we will expect eight to nine extinctions in 100 years. And what we have found, there were 477 species extinct. So this is much, much higher. And uh, in some of the groups, like amphibians, and this uh, means that a, a species lost in the last 100 years should have required uh, during normal extinction rates to become extinct in uh, 10,000 years. So, um, okay, if we know that during the last two million years there had been basically two species extinct every one, uh, 100 years per 10,000 species, and suddenly we have uh, hundreds more than expected by the same uh, 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 metrics, that is exactly the point of the paper. And those extinctions coincide uh, basically are occur, have occurred in the last 500 years, but uh, mostly have been concentrated in the last 100 years. And if we look at the data even closer, we will see that most of the extinctions have occurred in the last 30 to 40 years. And this is clearly, and, and in the study, it also shows the trends of uh, uh, the rates of extinctions, uh, natural extinctions compared to the uh, modern extinctions. And uh, it's also very important to know that our study is not in a vacuum of other studies. Basically, we know that many of these species have become extinct because of habitat loss or overkilling, uh, and deforestation, uh, toxification, introduced species, and so on. 
So we have plenty of other information telling us that the main cause of this extinction and the only cause of this extinction is basically human activities. And that human activity is also uh, cited as being population growth. Uh, explain that. That's very interesting. Okay, well, basically, uh, the, 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 if you were going to see, you would try to see being very reduction, reduction is basically the main factor causing all these problems on air is the size of the human enterprise. We are seven to, seven to billion people, and uh, we are still growing. There are 250,000 people new on Earth every day, and obviously, uh, our enterprise, we need uh, resources for food, for water, we produce uh, uh, waste, and so on. So uh, basically, the size of our population has caused a massive impact on, on the uh, natural ecosystems on Earth. We have lost almost 50% of all the uh, uh, natural ecosystems, forests, tropical forests, mangroves, coral reefs, and so on, on Earth. Uh, we, we know that, for instance, in Africa, more than 300 million tons of, of food, uh, of uh, wildlife, are taken uh, by uh, hunting, illegal, illegal hunting, every year. We know, for instance, that in China, there are, I mean, an amazing, huge, a trade of endangered species part, and uh, including uh, uh, rhino horns, uh, tiger bones, and so on. So we know that is our activity the ones who are causing that. And all of this is related to the size of our population. Geraldo, uh, um, so I guess the most important and critical question at hand is, are we going to survive this? Well, I'm, I'm very optimistic in the sense that uh, we have to be optimistic. These are really terrible news, and these are coupled to so many other things, other studies and data coming from, from other uh, uh, sides of the uh, environmental dilemma problems that, uh, on the one hand, it may be overwhelming. But on the other hand, I have seen a lot of big change in the last few years that is uh, telling me that we're in the right direction to try to address these issues. Uh, for instance, the encyclical of the Pope just recently telling us that we have to act because global warming is uh, destroying the, the earth is very important. Or President Obama saying that this is a national or international security problem. But uh, being optimistic, I also know that we need to act really soon. I think whatever we do in the next 10 or 15 years will define what happened to all these species on the one hand, but also to uh, civilization as we know it. Presently. Professor Geraldo Ceballos, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very, very much. Very kind. And thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.